Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. First of all, I came in with a sexy haircut and this new thing that I got for my seat. It's pretty nice, pretty comfortable. Um, today, I wanted to talk with you guys about uh, this amazing software for screenshotting. If you don't have it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Also, I wanna teach you how to actually ask for help from anywhere in the world to the point where it's so easy for people to help you that it doesn't even make sense for them to not help you, okay? So let's cover that kind of one step at a time. So first of all, I just wanna talk about the help thing. If you're trying to post it in the forums or you're trying to ask somebody for help, and I don't care if it's about coding or really anything in life, the person you're trying to ask for help, you wanna make sure that it's extremely easy for them to answer your question. So if your code is broken, don't just go, my codes are broken and just panic. Or if, some, if there's something in life, just go, there's something wrong, I don't know what's going on. Because the more vague your question is, the harder it is for somebody to help you because they really don't know what's going on. So if you can make it very specific with what you need help with, and I know sometimes it's annoying to do that, but if you can do that, you will find out that you get help many, many times. And also another thing you'll discover is that you'll end up answering your own question throughout this process. So that was the first part about how to kind of ask for help. And the tool that I wanna show you that is an amazing productivity tool, and also it can take your asking for help game at just a completely next level. Like after this tool, I literally talk to so many of these services like I'm um, using for my website and if I get into some problems, I'll be like, hey, what's going on, man? Like I need help with something, they'll help me instantly. So let me show you now. Uh, the tool I'm talking about is called Dropler. It's spelled D-R-O-P-L-R. And essentially, it's a screenshot tool. So most of the times when I would take screenshots, what would happen is that uh, it would sit right here on my desktop, and my desktop looked so hideous over time because it just filled up every single space because I just take a lot of screenshots, right? And I want to share those screenshots. And it was also taking up a lot of space on my computer. So my computer was getting low on space. This tool allows you to take screenshots without them actually being stored on your desktop. It essentially gets stored right over here. And also it saves those desktops for you, uh, those screenshots for you so you can come back and retrieve them at any time. And it can also record videos for you and this is the crazy part because what's the normal process for recording a video and sending it to somebody you have to record the video on your computer using a specialized software once it's done recording you have to edit it or whatever and then you have to export it and you have to sit there while it exports and it just takes so much of your time and then you can share it with somebody else and so nobody does it from their desktop nobody wants to record a video and share it but what this tool does, and let me just show you really quickly. So for example, uh, let's say that I got this piece of code from a student and they needed help on this. Here's how I would give them feedback on it, okay? And I'm gonna hit on my computer, I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Option Shift 5, and I'm just gonna drag like this part, and let's just do this live. So I'll hit Start Recording. Okay, so now I'm actually recording this, all right? So I'm gonna pretend that I'm recording this, that video. All right, Brian, uh, your code looks pretty good to me. ListSum is a function that accepts an input list of numbers, and you essentially go through it, and you increment it by blah, 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 and then now you're calling your function, passing, it in, passing in this list with 10 numbers in it. Uh, everything looks good to me. Now, I just ended it, okay? And I'm gonna tell it to record it as a movie. I think you guys were actually unable to see that part. And what it did is it just added it to my clipboard. And now, look, the video is done and I can actually just watch it. Okay, so now I'm actually recording this, all right? So I'm gonna pretend that I'm recording. And I'll just post this video in the link too so you can see it. So look at how easy that was. And now it's actually just a shareable link. And this is what the link is. It's just that link. So nothing got uploaded to my computer, nothing got saved on my computer and I'm essentially able to share this with anybody in the world. So it really lets me speak my mind without having to write down all this crap that I don't wanna write down, to be honest with you, and it just lets me share it instantly. Uh, for screenshots, what's super cool is like, 
I can do option shift three and like take a screenshot. So like here's my screenshot. And again, it's not saved on my computer and it's very easy to annotate stuff. So I do that, I do this and I say, uh, your code looks good. Now like let's say I want to move it, so I'll move it up here. Uh, let's say there's something sensitive about this. Maybe your credit card is showing up in the video. Maybe your driver's license is showing up or I don't know, your face is showing up and it just doesn't look good and you wanna hide it. Click this blur button and then just go like this and it's gone, okay? Like this is rocket science to doing other softwares and it's just this easy here. And that's why I love it because of how fast it is. And what you can do is just hit upload. So now, again, this is just a shareable link, and this is what the link is. And look, here's the picture, and I'll post this picture in the video description below too, so you can just check it out. This software exists for both Mac and Windows, so if you're Windows, for the first time in your life, you don't get screwed, and you get an awesome software. And another thing is that um, it's free if you're only taking 10 like screenshots or 10 videos uh, in a month, and it stores up to one gigabyte of storage, so that's a lot. But, and again, it's HD videos. You can even take uh, animated GIFs, you can compose notes, it shortens your URLs. I mean, it just has so many benefits. But I have the $10 a month version, and to be quite honest, you should just get it because it takes your productivity to the next level. And if you value your time, think of it like, you know, the payoff of this and how much you use this. It'll save hours and hours of your time. And one good way I like to think about these things is like I'll think, okay, how much money do I make in an hour? And if it saves me at least two hours, am I making up for this, right? So like, I don't know, if you're working somewhere and you're making eight bucks or 10 bucks an hour, think of it like, okay, will it save me one hour in a month? And if it saves you that one hour, then you can justify getting this. And this is so useful that like, don't have Netflix and have this instead, to be honest with you, okay? So that's the version I have, the pro one. And I don't know, it's just awesome. I wanted to share with you, check it out. If you don't like it, you can cancel it within the first 30 days. Okay guys, that's it. That's another hack for you I wanna show you today. And as always, love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in the next video.